It's December 16th, 2012, and I'm testing some code to make a set of sensor bosses for Subaru. This is actually going to produce four parts. The feed rate is presently at 200% of the planned speed rate. Or feed rate. Running through the first uh, first go here. I actually discovered an issue uh, with my setup, not with the uh, G code. My parallels, I thought I had ones that would leave uh, 250,000 of material sticking up above the top of the vise, but it turns out the ones I have in there are only going to leave 375,000 above it, which would put, put me at a very narrow margin for clearance between the tool and the vise. So I'm going to reset Z0 after this uh, completes its operation, and then uh, start the run. Right, the whole milling operation has started. This is sensor boss number two, or whatever you want to consider it, the second one to be bored. Of four, I'm making a batch of four parts with this run. This is an 875,000 feet pocket. That's about seven tenths, sorry, 700,000 inch in diameter. Three eighths inch end mill. I set my clearance plane too high. I set my clearance plane at uh, 125,000, so it takes a long time to get down to it. I normally run at uh, 62,500 or 67 inch, depending on how you want to figure it. This is noisier than I was expecting it to be. Not a big deal, really. Another surprise, another thing I forgot about was that. Some of the holes we're going to fill with uh, chips is not exactly going to be positive for the uh, finishing operation that occurs next. So I guess what I may want to do in the future is mill the pocket and then finish the hole. Mill the hole and then finish the hole so it doesn't have an opportunity to fill up with chips. I'd love to take a break here in a little bit and Make sure I'm ready to clear chips before the finishing operation starts on the next uh, next hole. Once it's done with the uh, fourth hole here. All right, the whole finishing operation is complete. Uh, the chips cleared out very easily with a quick quick blast of air. No problem at all there. Now I can't do a trochoidal path on this because the parts are too close together. As a result. Using full width of uh, cut or full tool engagement on this, which I'm not happy about. But it is what it is, I guess. What I what I did is actually set this at 40 inches a minute. Too fast. I slowed it. I'm not satisfied with the sound it's making, so I slowed it down a little bit. Uh, using the Mach 3 commands, I slowed it down to 70% speed. It's kind of unfortunate, but it's what it is, I guess. It's working okay. This is about the worst of it, I guess. The outline of the park is starting to show up now. All of these tool paths, I believe, are uh, fairly poorly planned. In theory, these are just uh, prototype parts that will never make it into production, so I was fairly concerned about it. I'm just using raw material that I happen to have laying around. operation at 125,000 depth of cut. And, uh, I think that works out to be 28 inches a minute on the feed here. Nice to see what full slotting looks like. I really haven't done much of that because I've avoided it with the uh, availability of procoidal pads. Some 
ship built up there. Looks like the uh, full and flow will handle it. Depth of uh, total depth on this operation is 875,000. It's taking 125,000 at a time. We're looking at seven total passes like this with a little bit more cutter side engagement each time. So we'll see how that goes as the cutter side, side engagement increases. It should be minimal, of course, uh, but cutter flex will always lead to a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra tool engagement there. That's a pretty good idea of what the uh, parts, profile parts are going to look like. Yep, it's getting ready to start the second operation right now. A little more, maybe not. Uh, it's removing material that actually isn't there right now. Finishing, finishing the profile on it. There we go. Boundary box and edge cam was a little larger than necessary, but like I said before, this is a one-off run. So I wasn't terribly concerned about it. Chip clearance will probably become an issue once these pockets get deeper, but I've got air, which should help with that. back to it later. It's finishing up the pass right now at the uh, depth of 750,000. Got one more pass to go. And then we'll move on to the finishing operations where the uh, bosses will get finished. And I should be starting the new cycle here. Yep. My battery's almost dead, but here's what we got. The finishing operations around the outside indicate that I've got some slop for my adjustment in there. There's a little bit of a step on each one of them. It's pretty significant. So I've got some more adjusting on the Gibbs to do. Uh, when I spot, when I spot drilled these with the uh, chamfering tool, I thought it was going to turn out like crap. It turned out to be absolutely freaking brilliant. I was, I'm very impressed with how they turned out. Let's see if I can get it in focus. Great finish. The uh, large chamfer on the inside, I thought it was going to be too much for one pass. Whoops. Change for the viewfinder here. I thought the uh, chamfer was going to be too much for one pass. Again, my settings were very good uh, on that. I haven't drilled the holes yet. Um, the chamfer's in there actually before the hole gets drilled, but I haven't drilled the uh, holes yet because I don't have the right size drill. So I'm saving the uh, that operation for that. Otherwise, I'm extremely satisfied with how these turned out.